Hello everybody, thanks for tuning into this video today, I really appreciate it. So before I begin, there are a few things I would like to say. Firstly, I did not plan on making this video, but I went to watch this movie with my parents in the theatre, so I decided to make a review for it. And whatever I'm going to say in this video is just my opinion. Many of you are clearly not going to agree with me because I'm seeing reviews for this movie online and so many people are praising it. And I'm going to give a let's just say an opposite view of what many views of what many reviewers are giving i'm going to be more negative because i didn't enjoy this film that much and i'm going to give my review of it so even if you disagree with me please don't criticize me too much in the comments this is just my opinion and yeah firstly i just this is also based off a storybook uh, which is and the storybook is a drama that also has some historical elements in it, real history in it. I haven't read the book, so this is coming from the perspective of someone who has never read the book, the source material. So I just went into this film, so that's that. So Ponin Selvan 2 is the sequel to the first film that came out last year, it's a Tamil movie. And yeah, so I'm just going to keep it short, I am really disappointed in this film. This film is disappointing for me. Firstly, the story is very messy. I, I'm a well okay. I'm well aware that um, sometimes when you adapt adapt storybooks to movies, you're gonna have to remove certain things. You're gonna have to omit certain things so that the movie can feel more cinematic and less dragged. But in this movie, they I feel like they omitted too many things. Like they handpicked certain events, like just certain events that happened in the storybook, and just omitted so much other things and it just feels so messy and certain things that happened, certain character decisions, certain moments in the film didn't feel as earned as they should have been and that's mainly because it felt so rushed, the movie was so rushed, the conflict in the movie is not very clear either and this movie was just so bad because they because they remove so many things and look I'm not a I'm not someone who has read the book so I don't know anything what about what's in the book but even though I've never read it I can tell they omitted so many critical things that happened in the book because certain character motivations and actions did not make sense either like mainly because they remove certain things in between like the character is here in the beginning and this happens at the end of the for the character somewhere at the end and you're wondering and they were like they only took a few things like just a handful of things and put them in between saying that this is what happened and this is what led to the character doing this but it doesn't feel that earned like they it felt like they removed some of the things in between like some of the crucial things in between and the action sequences i'm a huge fan of war sequences like i really love lord of the rings the war sequences there were very well directed and written and the action sequences here, like the war scene in this movie, was very underwhelming. For example, you go into war, you clearly need a strategy. But in this movie, they just went into war. The war sequence, the scene was rather awful. There were so many shaky cams and cuts. It was very hard to see what's going on. And it was also very abrupt as well. Like, just like many typical Tamil films, the protagonist of the story wins with ease in a fight. That's what it's going on here. And maybe they ran out of budget or something, but I really don't know why. Other than that, I really don't know why it's so bad. Like, I, it's just really bad. And basically, the good guys win and the bad guys don't. It's very much a typical Tamil film, so the, this made the ending of the movie very underwhelming as well. In the story, throughout characters are just blaming each other, people are just getting punished and you see this film felt so hollow because it lacked themes like consequences. Okay, it feels like they tried to, they tried to have this theme of consequence in the story but it just didn't work very well and that's how it was to me. There was a romance scene in this film which, okay, the, I'll give the credit to the romance scene. The, the romance scene was pretty good so probably the one of the few things in this film that I'll give credit to. And I said this before, the ending of the film was underwhelming. Basically, the entire movie is underwhelming. The editing and the cinematography of the film, though, is uh, pretty good. I'll give it credit for that. Uh, except for the editing and cinematography of the, action, the war scene. Other scenes, pretty good. I'll give it credit for that. 
the camera movements were good and yeah another thing i'll give this movie credit for was the acting the acting throughout the cast was fantastic and yeah overall i'm gonna give this movie a 4.5 out of 10 It's a rather poorly written movie with a few scenes of great cinematography, uh, some great stor romance storyline weaved into it, as well as uh, some great acting. It had so much more potential, I just felt it. It did have so much more potential, but it just failed to reach that potential. Again, this is just my opinion. Don't criticize me too much. Uh, I may not be right. In fact, I'm, think I'm, thinking, that I'm thinking that most of you will have a different opinion than mine because I'm reading again I've read many reviews and most of them seem to be positive for this movie the rating seems to be positive for this movie so it's just my opinion again so don't criticize me too much thank you for watching see you next time if you want to see any other videos let me know in the comments below and if you like this video like this video and if you want to see more subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want to see next in the comments below